In this video, we'll create the top container piece for activity 137. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our document settings and change our units to millimeters. Okay, after that, we're going to go to create sketch, and then we're going to click on the front view here. And then you'll notice in our drawing over here, it has a this just this rectangular piece right here, not including the uh, the circular or cylindrical hinge here at the top. It's got a height of 38 and a half millimeters and a width of 55 millimeters. So we'll start with that rectangle. So again, 55 millimeters wide and then 38.5 millimeters tall. You'll also notice that there are three millimeter fillets right here at these bottom two edges. So I'm going to go ahead and add those as well by using the 2D fillet tool. Just click on those corners and just change the dimension to three. And then click OK. I'll finish that. And then we are going to extrude this. And it gets extruded two and a half millimeters. So we'll click OK. All right, the next part that we're going to add is going to be this clip piece that you see right here that will clip into the front of the bottom piece that we made previously. Um, to make that, notice that it is kind of offset here from the edge. So I'm going to make a plane uh, here from this edge of our part that goes in a little bit uh, so that we can start drawing the sketch to make that, that part. So we're going to go up here to the offset plane tool. And then we're going to click on this edge of our part. And then again, we're going to move this in this direction. And we need to figure out what this distance is right here, how far that goes in. And if you look at this drawing right here, it goes in 22 and a half millimeters. So we'll say negative 22.5 and then click OK. OK, and then we're going to go up to create sketch. And then I'm going to click on that plane that we just added. And then I'm going to move this kind of down here. So what we're primarily going to be recreating here is this detail view right here. This detail A view, we're going to be pretty much recreating that sketch, making the clip go out to the left here, just like it is in the, uh, the drawing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Create, go down to Project Include, go to Project. And I'm just going to click on this bottom line right here because we'll, we're going to need to reference that bottom line to start this. And we'll click OK. All right. Now we're going to do the rest of this pretty much with just the line tool. So I'm going to click the line tool. And then we're going to start at this point here. And we're going to go down. And I'll just, I'll just place that for now. And I'm just going to actually just kind of draw the rest of this just roughly for now, even though it's we're going to have to add in dimensions to it, but I'm just going to roughly draw what the uh, sketch profile is going to look like. So it's roughly going to look something like that. Okay, and we're just going to add in some dimensions here. Uh, so right, looking right here, we can see uh, that there is a 0.3 millimeter dimension from this line to this line. So I'm going to add in that one first. That's going to be 0.3. And then going down to the other line, uh, from this line here to this line, it is 1.7. Okay, and then going across, this is 15. Nope, and that kind of messed up the sketch a little bit. Try to drag that over. Fix that up a little bit. Okay, so from the top line here down to this point, it's two and a half. So top line to this point is 2.5. And then the total distance of this top part is 3.2. So from the top part down to this very bottom line, that should be 
And then we have two one millimeter dimensions from the this left edge here to that point, and then from that point to the other side. So going from this edge here to that point is one. And then from here to here is also one. All right, and that is this sketch uh, finished. Uh, we'll, we'll extrude this. Um, you may need to pause the video here to get the rest of these dimensions in before you move on to the extrude. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch. I'll make it 3D here. Okay, and all we got to do is just extrude this. So click extrude, and then we're going to go out the other direction, and then it has a total dimension of 10. So I'm just going to drag this out to 10 and click OK. Okay, so that's the clip part. The next part we need to add is the uh, circle for the hinge, which is gonna go up in this area here. Um, similar to the way that we started this one, we're gonna make an offset plane from this edge, and we're gonna tell it to go in, because again, you'll notice we have that same issue is this circle doesn't go all the way out to the edge. There's a little bit of a gap right here. So I'm gonna go up to offset plane, click this edge, and then we're going to find what that gap is right here. And if you look in the drawing, it is 10 and a half millimeters. So we're just going to make this, I think it's going to need to be negative again. So negative 10.5. Click OK. And then we will go ahead and make a sketch on that. OK. All right, so I'm going to zoom in here. And similar to what we started with last time, I'm going to go to create, go to project include. And then this time we're really gonna need pretty much this, this edge right here, the right side edge. So I'm gonna click that line and then click okay. All right, and if I zoom out so you guys can kind of see the whole thing, um, you'll notice here in the drawing that we have two circles, we're just going to focus with the outside one. The outside one, it says it has a radius of two and a half millimeters. So that means it's going to have a diameter of five. So when I draw this here, I'll just draw it like about right there. I'm going to make that have a uh, diameter of five and click enter. And you'll notice from this view here, it has a, a dimension from the very bottom part of that clip, that bottom edge of the clip there all the way to the center of that is 43 and a half millimeters. So go up to the dimension tool from the bottom, of the clip to the center is 43 and a half millimeters. Okay, and if you notice in the detail view here, especially you can notice that the edge of that circle is tangent with this edge right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our tangent constraint click the circle, and then we're gonna click this line right here. Okay, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a gap here between the circle and that, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the line tool to fill that gap in. Notice I can't click right here, like it's not giving me that point, so I'm gonna to have to go back up to the project include, and then click this line, and then click okay. So now I have a point there. And I'm going to go up to the line tool now, and now I can click that point and then click where it touches the circle and do the same thing for this side. So making sure to keep that line vertical like that. Okay. Last thing I'll do is I'll just use the scissors tool, the trim tool here, and then we'll just get rid of this inside part of the circle line. So that is just one profile now. And then we'll click finish sketch. Okay. And then looking at the width of this part, this part has a, uh, it's gonna be extruded 34 millimeters. So we'll go to extrude, click that, and then I'll type in uh, negative 34. And then notice that goes out all there. So we'll click okay. The next part that we'll need is uh, the little circular or spherical holes uh, on the ends. So we'll start with this side right here make a sketch, and then we're gonna draw, again, a circle in the middle of this circle here. 
And again, looking at the detail view, it has a radius of one and a half, just like the, um, the bottom container piece, uh, but the diameter needs to be three. Okay, and then we will finish that. And then all we're gonna do is we are going to extrude it in one and a half. So I'm gonna tell it to go negative 1.5. And then to make that a sphere, we go to fill it. And then I'm gonna zoom in here so you can kind of see this, but I'm gonna click on the inside edge of the fillet right here. So we'll click that. And then that is gonna to need to be 1.5 to make that a sphere and then click okay. All right, the last thing we gotta to do to finish this off is to just repeat that same process there for the other side. So we'll make a sketch. Go up to our circle tool, make a three millimeter circle here, finish the sketch, go to extrude, extrude it in 1.5. Yeah, extrude it in, so that needs to be negative 1.5. And then we're going to fill it the inside edge again. And that needs to be 1.5. Okay, and that is how you create the top part of your uh, container for Activity 137.